Just clarify, that was the first one. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Top Academy YouTube channel. Today we're delighted to be joined by a special guest, Laurie Evans. Oh, he's got it. It's been nailed. It's gone high. It's got the length. That has gone the journey straight. Sight screens, beautiful. The uh, Rangan, in fact, was picked so beautifully. Great. Laurie, welcome. Um, what we're going to do just start, we're going to do a little net session. Just something taking you through what you'd normally do as preparation for a game. And then we'll maybe just have a bit of fun at the end to hit a few. So what would you normally do to start with then? What sort of throws would you have? Um, so I, it depends if I'm training or playing day. So like my training, I'll start maybe with some underarm drills, maybe some top hand drills. Um, just check off all the basics and then I'll probably go into some no feet throws and I'll do that on a, on a game day. I won't face claw, I won't face the bowlers, I won't, I'll just get you know, a coach to throw balls, um, no feet and then uh, you know, gradually over time, some days I'll face 10 you know, and then my feet just start naturally to move and some days yep. it'll be 20, 30, so each day is different. Fantastic, so should we start with some just overall throws from here and then just go from there? Yeah, I'll, we'll start with some, just some underarms yep. and then just do a few top hand drills and then we'll go into some no feet throws. Perfect, let's go. Play me. Shapes, mate. Yep. Yep. Play it, mate. <laughs> Shot. Shot. Four more. Well, yeah. Do you want to stop on that one? That. Yeah. I'll basically do it until I feel like I've got it. Yeah. So we probably have to go a little bit longer. Like if that was me trying to get ready for a day. Yeah. I was getting them like that, I'd probably have to keep going and going and going and going. But then some days, you might face like 10 balls. Yeah. 20 balls, and you'll get it straight away. I think that's one of those things though, like sometimes you just, some players just fill one out the middle, and right, I'm done, that's my prep. But others you want to get sort of in the rhythm of hitting 10 to, 5 to 10 like that, then you know you're feeling good. They're ready to go now? Hitting yeah. them nicely, that, that was nice, that was good to watch. Yeah. Obviously, what the guys will know you for is absolutely smashing it out of the ground. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to fire a few down and I just reckon just free your hands and try and hit them as hard as you can. Yeah, sound good? Sweet. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> just clarify, that was the first one. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> Power. Oh dear. Shot. Can you tell when you've hit that, can you tell yourself whether you think you've got it, whether that would have gone? Yeah. So you could call it after you've hit one, so you can go bang, yeah that's gone. Okay, you haven't got one yet. Seven out of ten. That's eleven out of ten for me. That's it. That's one clean. I love that you can just tell when you've hit one. Oh, you, you, it's just, it's, there's all, there's various of things, like it's length of the ball, where you hit it on the bat, like did your bat, did your hands turn? Yeah. Like all things, like it's like, it's like a driver. Yeah. Like when you hit that perfect drive, everything's just in sync. Yeah. Whereas like, you can still hit a good drive and like hit it slightly off the toe or slightly off the heel. You know, not every six comes out the middle, but that's why the guys like Pollard and yeah. 
are so much better than everyone else because they miss hit the ball for six. Yeah. Whereas, you know, for me, like I can't miss hit it for six many places. Like I could probably, you know, on a, if, if I got a good bat, it makes a big difference. So like a couple of bats I've had in my career, I can literally hit it from here to here and it will go for six. Yeah. And like even better if you get a bit of top edge like because the ball flies. Do you find it easier hitting big off a seam or off a, or off a spinner? Again, depends on the wicket. Like, I mean, all sorts of factors come into it, like who you're facing, um, which way's the wind blowing, how big's the ground. Um, but generally, I would say, you know, like a nice paced 80, 85 mile an hour bowler um, with not many slower balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's changed the game, isn't it? That's the thing, they don't really exist. Yeah. Nowadays, because they just get found out very quickly. Yeah. Um, but spinners, obviously, naturally, like if you look at the top 10 2020 bowlers in the world, they're all spinners, all legs. Yeah. So um, I'd say seamers have got less mar margin per hour. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting, that, because obviously, looking through, spinner, leg spinners nowadays, they tend to bowl so flat, you can't really get underneath them. Yeah. I mean, you think of people like Rashid Khan watching him in the IPL. I just don't, I wouldn't know how, because he's got so many variations. Mm -hmm. And he gives you literally nothing yeah. to be able to get. Have you ever faced Rashid Khan? Yeah, we had him at Sussex um, for two years. And yeah, I faced him a few times. It's just the pace off the wicket. So like, obviously it was quick through the air, but then off the wicket, it would like, he bowls it with a lot of top spin. Yeah. And his arm speed just skids on. I mean, so like, and then when you get him in places like the subcontinent where it doesn't bounce as much, like that's just a nightmare. Oh, I could imagine. So. In England, he does bounce up a bit more. Yeah. Um, and us, you know, some a few people did get hold of him, but very rarely. Um, but you still get, you know, guys like Adil Rashid, who's like one of the best in the world, obviously. But he real, you know, tries to go up and down with it, and you know, any miss hit is caught in the deep, and that's where, as a leg spinner, you need to have your fielders out. Like you won't see many leg spinners bowling in the power play. No. No. Well, Lloyd, thank you so much for that. It was fantastic. I'm sure the guys at home really appreciate that insight. And yeah, I just can I get my head around how you can strike them so cleanly. <laughs> you say you haven't had a hit since final, which is, which is a madness. But no, thank you very much for that. And I um, no, appreciate it. Cheers for watching, guys. Um, see you soon for another video. Cheers.